Alright guys, I want to first and foremost say I apologize for the quality of this video. I am using the MacBook Pro camera for the main shot and my iPhone XR for the second camera above me because I have to use this to show you guys iOS 19. If you guys go to this website, you can get iOS 19. It will tell you to pay for it. Just put $0 on the screen and then put your email in and it'll send to your email. So let me just fix something real quick. Okay, there we go. So this is what it's gonna look like. iOS 19 prototype. You've used this project a few times already. So I have used this a few times. So I'm just gonna put in my email. Um, confirm email. There we go. Then it'll give you this link. So open the link, open the app clip, and it'll take you to this play app. And here it tells you two finger double tap to restart or two finger long press to exit. So let's go here. This is what iOS 19 is said to look like. It has a rounded off. I kind of think this is cool. So this is a daytime picture. This is a nighttime picture, I guess, or night mode. I kind of would like to see this in actual night mode. I think, honestly, that would be cool to see it in night mode. Let's see here. I think the only two apps for now that are working are the camera and the settings app. So let's open the camera app, all right? And you actually get a view of what the camera is going to look like. So you have spatial depth, time lapse, and slow-mo video. And then let's see if you can actually go to photo. All right, you go to photo and you get five times, 0.5 times zoom, one, two, and a five times zoom. Now, I'm not sure if this is only for certain iPhones, like the iPhone 16 Pros and the Pro Maxes. I'm not sure if it's gonna be coming to the 15 lineup or the 14 lineup, but we'll have to see. So let me see if I can actually, now, that kind of stinks. I kind of want to see what I would look like in the camera. Actually, go to main camera. And now, so it kind of looks cool, I guess. Let me back up so you guys can see. Kind of focuses in on a face. I'm wondering if it's going to focus. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. On this. And then, no, it doesn't do anything like that, but I mean, I think that's still cool to actually see. So then, all right, so now we're on the main screen again. I'll open the settings app, see what's there. So it has the creator's name, Shane. And if you guys know, Shane and iDevice help have collaborated on this and I think it's really really cool how everything looks so far. I really really like the settings app. Um, I'm not really sure if it's going to be like a how you guys are seeing here is just like a pop-up window and not an actual screen but I'm assuming things will change in the future. I know that they're working very hard on this to see what iOS 19 is going to look like. So yeah shout out to Shane. Levine and iDevice help for this. I really, really enjoy this. I think it is something that, you know, everybody should try out, try to get iOS 19 on their phones. I know a lot of people are talking and saying that they really don't like this design. I have said in the past, I do think that this design looks sleek and different. And I think honestly, it's welcome for me. For those who don't like it, I say put an option. That way people have the option if they like this or the regular um, icons. But this is like 
brand new, fresh. I think it is absolutely amazing. We have also heard that it could look a little bit different than this and a little bit different than stuff that John Prosser showed on Front Page Tech. So I'm curious to see how much different it looks to, just to get the general idea of it. This is really, really cool. If you guys want to check it out for yourselves, I'll have a link down in the description down below. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Do you guys think that this looks cool or do you prefer what we've always had? Uh, I want to hear your thoughts. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And with that being said, see you guys in the next one.